Turning now to your community focus, earlier this month, the FDA approved the first pill to treat postpartum depression. Up until now, treatment for postpartum depression has only been available through an IV. Joining us now to talk about this development and what it means for women, Dr. Zobeda Diaz. She's a perinatal attending psychiatrist with Women and Infants Hospital. Thanks so much for being here. Thank you for having me. So put this into context for us. How big of a deal is this when it comes to treating postpartum depression? This is a huge deal. Um, for the first time, we have a medication that's targeted specifically to the hormone changes that happen mm -hmm. immediately postpartum. Um, there was a medication that came out in 2019, but it's only available by IV. Mm -hmm. So this is this oral formulation is gonna open the door for many women to get this treatment. Yeah, it makes it a lot more accessible. So, so talk to me about how women can access this treatment. So um, currently with the IV formulation, it's very limited, mm. of course. Um, when this rolls out, I believe that it will be a lot easier for women to get this. Um, it's a medication that's gonna be prescribed by perinatal psychiatrists, OBs, PCPs, so it's gonna be uh, widely available. And it's not available yet? Not available yet, no. It's um, not gonna be commercially available until October, November of this year. Okay, so talk to me about, I mean, there are a lot of antidepressants already on the market. Why does there need to be a specific medication just for postpartum depression? Right, so with the medications that we're using before the standard antidepressants, they're targeting different chemicals mm. um, that may not necessarily be implicated in the etiology of postpartum depression. We know for sure that the hormone changes play a huge role, and so this is the first targeted um, medication for postpartum depression. I know a lot of women experience something that is called baby blues. How is baby blues different from postpartum depression? Very different. So po the baby blues happens to up to 85% of women, mm. um, and it is related to the hormone changes that happen immediately postpartum, but most women can bounce back from the baby blues after about two weeks. The postpartum depression is much more severe. Um, and these women just don't bounce back. And in fact, like even within two weeks, they can start having some very um, scary thoughts, including suicidal thoughts. So um, when there are suicidal thoughts, that's not the baby blues. And, and zoom out for me a little bit here. I'm curious your thoughts about the overall stigma around postpartum depression. Do you think the screening process is robust enough? And do you think women feel comfortable still to mm -hmm. openly talk about postpartum depression? Well, I think it's changed a lot um, in the last couple of years. Mm -hmm. um, we have done, uh, I think, a better job of educating providers out in the community, um, OBs, PCPs. And so I do believe that we've seen some progress in that area that um, the providers are screening for postpartum depression and they should be doing it during pregnancy and each, uh, during each trimester and then immediately postpartum. And just quickly, about 15 seconds, if people need help, where can they go? So um, if you need help, you should definitely reach out to your OB provider, your primary care provider. Um, we also can have um, individuals call us at Women and Infants at the Center of Women's Behavioral Health. Am I allowed to give the phone number? Of course, <laughs> please. So call us at 401-453-7955 if you have any questions or right. need an evaluation. Great, and we'll put that on our website mm -hmm. as well with additional resources. Dr. Zobeda Diaz, thanks so much for your time today. Thank you.